here's how the story went. So basically, King Louis and Anne of Austria have twin boys, Louis and Philippe. But they know that twins cause problems because who's going to inherit the throne? So they decide that Louis will become king and Philip will be thrown into prison for the rest of his life. And it works for a while, but this guy, Aramis, finds out about all this and he decides to do something about it. So he goes up to Philippe in prison, and he tells him, Hey, you're supposed to be the king of France. So, let's make it happen. And they attempt to overthrow the king, but they fail drastically, and this guy rots in prison for the rest of his life. Which leaves Aramis with nothing to do, so... He takes this guy, Porthos, and he runs off to a random island where he hopes to hide forever. And, but the king eventually finds him, and he tells D'Artagnan, who is one of his loyal servants, but he's also a friend of the Musketeers, and he's one of them. So, he says, no, I won't do it. So the king sends him into prison. And the king, who says, hey, I don't need your help, I can kill him myself attacks the island, and Porthos fights off and kills 120 of the king's men before he dies. And uh, Aramis manages to flee and run to some other random island where hopefully no one can find him. And this time no one does. And while all this is happening, the fourth musketeer, Athos, his son Raoul, and Raoul falls in love with a woman named La Valliere. And La Valliere says, I don't like you anymore, Raoul, and she becomes the king's mistress. So Raoul is now heartbroken, and he decides to go off to war, and he dies. And Athos, who is basically only living to, for his son, dies from grief. Leaving Aramis and the king is the only people alive. And that's the end.